Hello everybody, my name is Benjamin Novak and this is going to be another Pega demonstration. Last time we talked about the widget builder, no I talked, <laughs> and this time we'll focus on the dashboard side. So this is Confex, Confex is going to be a demo at ESWC, the European Semantic Web Conference, coming up in June. And there we're trying to provide a conference explorer to attendees both on-site and off-site, including pictures from Flickr or TwitPic and status updates from Twitter or Identica, and more importantly, the data from data.semanticweb.org, which has papers, sessions, authors, topics, all following the linked data principles, which means they can be aggregated and combined and integrated. And this is just a quick demo about the different sorts of widgets we're going to have there. So I start with a photo search widget. Widget developers can keep widgets as generic or specific as they like. So in this case, the photo search, photo search expects a tag as an input parameter. And based on that tag, it will search Flickr and will also try to extract information from Twitter feeds, which have TwitPic links in them. I'll use the dub 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 2009 conference because there's lots of data for that conference and we don't have live data from the ESWC conference yet because it's still a few weeks away. Okay, four is enough, I guess. So the first load may take some time because the data has to be fetched from Flickr and from Twitter and then some consolidation has to take place, including Sparkle updates and inferencing. Okay, so here we have four pictures. Apparently from people leaving the conference. And these pictures are coming from Flickr or from TwitPic. And we'll also need paper authors and conference papers. And I think the conference topics are right there. Okay, my micro, microbook search is pretty much similar to the photo search, but we're using different sources here. So the microblog search widget retrieves search feeds from Identica and from Twitter and again does some Sparkle based inferencing which then lets us retrieve data in a single Sparkle query. So these are tweets from Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. This one is from Identica, for example. Okay, but the more interesting thing is data from data.semanticweb.org. Again, I have to configure the widgets first. Okay, so the interesting thing we can do now is that because if the information is available as linked data, each item has an identifier, a web retrievable identifier. So in that case, I can, let's say I just filter the author list down and see if somebody I know submitted a paper. So this data is coming live from the data.semanticweb.org server, so it may take some time. And now we can take this entity and drag it 
on the paper widget. So when I get a suggestion to filter the paper list. So this is based on so-called drop actions. Widget authors can define drop actions. And when some identifier is dragged on a widget or on some other widget item, you can either filter the list or create links between different resources. So in that case, we're filtering the paper list using that author as a filter. And as we can see, the paper list shows this paper, which apparently was written by Harry Halpin. It works the other way around too. So let's say I'm interested in semantic web papers. And would like to know who wrote that one. So I can drag the identifier on the author list. Again, I get a filter option and get the three authors of that particular paper. So this can later be used, for example, to also filter the microblog search to only show messages that were posted during a certain session. Or we can use the topics to filter the papers. Stuff like that. Stay tuned, thank you very much. And if you would like to find out more about the technology behind Pagora or Linked Data in general, check out the website by the New York Semantic Web Meetup Group. I'm going to give a talk on May 21st about the RDF toolkit and the web application framework I'm using. And on May 22nd, there'll be a half day workshop for PHP developers where we look into RDF and Spark and data and all that interesting technical stuff. Maybe see you there.